So today I'm looking at a 2015 Toyota Highlander. This one's got the 3.5 V6. It's got a, a check engine code of P0113, the mass airflow. Or, yeah, mass airflow. Sensor is reading high. So we're going to take a look at that. So we're going to go take a look at the mass airflow sensor and see uh, what's going on with it. So here it is. Uh, there's the sensor. And I can already see there's an issue right there. The wiring looks like it's been chewed up. So um, I'm surprised it's even running. Something has gotten in here. And I see also uh, there's tracks. I would guess that might be a squirrel. There's uh, muddy tracks all over the top of this engine. And uh, I've seen this before where uh, squirrels will get in the engine compartment and just start chewing up wires. I saw one one time where the squirrel made a nest inside the windshield washer reservoir and then proceeded to eat all the wiring out of it. And uh, that pretty much uh, nearly totaled the car. This one doesn't look too bad, although they didn't leave me much wire. And so it's going to be kind of a challenge to figure out what the pinout is, what the uh, color code is. So there you are. I see the problem here. Looks like the... Uh, the wiring harness to the mass airflow sensor connector got chewed up and there's a uh, footprints all over the top of this engine that uh, probably a squirrel did this and so there's going to be a, a bit of a challenge to determine what the pinout is i'm gonna to have to pull this connector out and write down the pinout and uh, make sure i can strip that back and and re what i'm going to do is strip this uh loom back where I can get to the individual wires and then splice in the uh, repair pigtail. It doesn't appear that there's even enough wire. If there was enough wire, I could maybe just uh, add on to that, but there's really, it's just coming right out of the plug here. So you push down on this tab and you can unlock it, get the connector out of there, and you can see it's ate up right at the nub there. So now I'm going to strip back the loom on this mass airflow sensor pigtail here so I can uh, get to the wiring a little better when I want to terminate. I'm going to be adding a little wire to it. So there's not a lot of wire left on this connector. For me to, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what some of the colors are. The blue and the red are fairly obvious. The yellow is fairly obvious. But then there's two other wires here that are uh, very hard to distinguish on this connector. I can distinguish them a little easier on the actual wire. They are sort of like a light brown and maybe that's like a pink color. And so I need to try to match up whatever I can on what's left of this to try and figure out. So the easiest way, or the only way I can see to do it is compare it. And so I can just hold the wire up. And try to color compare it. I'm thinking this light brown one is the middle pin, pin 3. So I've got the short wires on the connector tinned and I've got it in a clamp there. I'm going to just temporarily tack the wires back in place and see if I can reset the code and to be able to drive it around I want to uh, move the car around. There's some other things I want to do. 
Uh, I cannot leave it. Uh, this is just a temporary repair. I'm going to have to replace that pigtail because the wires won't have the proper strain relief and they would break again. But it'll work for a few minutes while I'm driving it around to move it into the shop where I can get it up on a lift. I really just don't want to drive it without the, the mass airflow sensor. So here's the, the wires. I've got them tinned and I've got uh, Get these wires marked with stripes and we're going to start with this one closest to the wiring harness it's going to be uh, pin one here or and it's this pink wire just going to strip it back just a little bit Need to tin that. I have my wire, a solder suspended out there, so I can put a little solder on this one. I've got a little bit of solder on there, so now I can uh, bring a wire over here and connect it up. This is one of the ones that was a little hard to identify because colors are kind of similar. I've got pin one tied in, and next is pin two, the yellow. That's a little bit easier to tell. Okay, so I can bring in the yellow wire. Next was pin three. That's the one. I know the other one was a little difficult to tell, but it was. Of course, the other one's fairly easy because they're easily discernible. And like I said, this is just a temporary patch. I'm going to be, I've ordered a pigtail, replacement pigtail. The Toyota dealership wanted uh, $5 for the shell and $20 for each of the pens. So it would have been, uh, you know, like 120 bucks. And he, he was saying the, uh, the connectors are gold plated and as if that was gonna make the pin cost $20. Um, I've worked with a lot of gold-plated connectors and they're not that crazy. And they also quoted the owner a wiring loom Instead of just a pigtail repair and the wiring loom they quoted was $750. But I'm pretty sure all they were going to do was what, I'm, uh, what I was going to do is change this pigtail. Of course, it's right on this air box and the air box gets removed. 
and the connectors way up here at the top. So you want to make sure that you you know your um, the wires are properly strain relieved and anchored because they will get damaged. That's why this repair would not be something uh, I would call permanent. Just temporarily tacking it back together. If I would have had a little more wire sticking out of the connector, I probably could have, uh, you know, made an acceptable repair. But with just uh, what that squirrel left me is not really enough. You don't want to solder wires that are movable because they will just fracture and break. You need to crimp them, so you need enough wire to, to um, make a crimp with a ferrule or something. Here's the final wire. So now I can release it from this clamp. And I had some duct tape holding it because it's a lot of weight if it decided to shift. Now I'm just going to slide these uh, heat shrink tubing pieces over the wire just to over these little solder joints just to make sure it's not going to make a short out with the adjacent one. There, that's the uh, a temporary patch there. So now I can plug this in. and go get my scan tool. Done soldering. So you can see the muddy footprints on the top of the engine cover here. Uh, left by presumably a squirrel. Looks like a, maybe the size of a squirrel. And squirrels are known to uh, get into engine compartments and cause damage. Luckily, he hadn't gotten into any of the other wiring. I've seen a lot worse cases where they will actually build a nest in the car. <laughs> 